hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today's just is on pasuma alabi yes popular fuji mistro who is also popularly known as ogala he lost his mom on the april 6th 2023 and he shared this on social media that he will be missing his mom and hope and pray that his mom will be looking after him from heaven sharing a picture of himself and his beautiful mom he said my jewel, I will miss you forever. Words fail me. Rest in power and peace. Please watch over me from heaven. Unquote. This was Pastor Masha and this on social media. And of course, fans, followers, and Hollywood actors and actresses have all sent in their condolences in the comment section. Well, here are some things that people need to know about Pasuma's mother before she passed away. The name of Pasuma's mother is Alaja Adijat Kuburat. She's also called Yawu Anobi. Hence, the reason why Pasuma usually refers to himself as Omo Yawu Anobi. Alaja Adijat was born on the 5th of September in Uru Kingdom in Kwara State. And she single-handedly raised and brought up Pasuma after she separated from her husband due to inconsolable differences. Pasuma was just nine years old when his mother left his father. She once dated the veteran Charles Oluma, popularly called Agbako. Hence, when the news of Agbako surfaced online saying he needed money for treatment and for his health, people called out to Pasuma saying, at least there was a time this man was there for you as a father. You can't say this man didn't take care of you growing up as it was known that your mother was once in a relationship with this said man. In fact, a lot of people have assumed that Charles Olumo is the biological father of Pasuma. Another thing to know about Pasuma's mother is that she didn't want Pasuma to become a musician just like Pasuma's biological father didn't want him to become a musician. Pasuma's father wanted him to become a medical doctor. As Pasuma's father was also an educated man. And the mother refused blatantly, saying she doesn't want her son to become a Fuji musician because she doesn't want Pasuma's father's family to think she's not capable of raising him properly. She once said and told Pasuma that, Do you want your father's family to think I don't know what I am doing, that I am not taking care of you? Do you want your father's word to come to pass? She is also popularly called Yawanobi, as mentioned earlier, because of the love she has for her faith. She is known to be a staunch Muslim and has a very good heart. Pasuma also adopted the nickname, hence he calls himself Omo Yawanobi. She is also called a golden mom by most of Alabi Pasuma supporters, and she shares the same birthday with one of her grandchildren, whose name is Kadijat Okweyemi La America. Well, we all know that Pasuma started his music career from way back as early as the 1980s. Well, he also shared in one of the interviews that a lot of people didn't know that he started out as a footballer, but God just said he was going to be a musician. He said, when I was a student at Nigeria Model High School, Idiru, if I can remember vividly in 1992, when I was in Form 3, the Principal's Cup football competition was on. It was a football competition among secondary school in Lagos. Footballers were being selected to represent Nigeria, the first Kodak Fever on the 17 World Cup. Then I was a member of Abue De Football Club in Shogunle, Ushodi. I was among the four footballers picked and were kept in camp. Eventually, I wasn't among the footballers selected for the tournament in 1983. I was in Form 4 then. I tried out again to see if I would be selected, but they didn't pick me. By 1984, I finished my Form 5. The football selected in 1983 went to represent Nigeria in 1985. Fataya Tere was among the footballers. Nigeria won the competition. When the team came back, a street was named in his honor. So I played football, but I wasn't destined to be a great footballer. But I thank God, I succeeded where he has put me. I was not injured then. They did not pick me. But I thank God. This was Pasuma revealing this, that he would have been a great footballer. But then, here he is. He decided after that, he would become a a musician he said after i left secondary school i decided that i will become a musician 
in the year 1984. Alaji Wasura in the Kwam One released an album. It was poured me on. I decided to become a musician and God made me to succeed. And yes, he's one of the most sought after Nigerian Fuji music artists. He has won numerous awards, featured in several Nigerian Nollywood movies, several other entertainment participation. Well, we pray that the soul of Elijah Adijat Kuburat continually rest in peace and our prayers are with the family of Basuma. Well, guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.